uh, let's pretty much start because you know uh, used to got choir rehearsal. But um, all right, so um. <laughs> All right, so hi everyone. I'm Ashley Monique, owner of Ashley's Yummy Tummy. Make sure you go like my business page, uh, Ashley's Yummy Tummy Catering on Facebook. Make sure you go like the I've Noticed podcast uh, page on Facebook. You can go to my website, order sauces and other things that will be uploaded uh, pretty soon. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Ashley Monique843. You can follow me on youtube which is if you don't catch this live live you can go on youtube as well ashley's yummy to me or whatnot but um we have a special guest here tonight um highly anticipated yes. uh <laughs> highly anticipated um but not for the reasons that you may think you know um <laughs> but on some uh you know some toned down romantic uh you know man woman type of, of vibes you know yes uh so would you like to introduce yourself and where they can also follow you if they don't follow you or in the capacity of wh- what you're doing now, you know? Um, I'm Sean Page. They probably know me as Swamp, but uh, you can find me on uh, Facebook, Sean Page, uh, IG Swamp 12 or Twitter Swamp 843 um, or check me out on YouTube doing my battle rap or uh, music or whatever it could be, though. Appreciate y'all for having me, though. Perfect, perfect. My other, uh, Courtney, Whitney, you guys like to throw out your, uh, where they can follow y'all fine sales at? Not fine. <laughs> fine, baby. Fine, baby. You can I think follow. I'm good. My, my Instagram ain't really lit like that. <laughs> yeah. Everybody that I want to be tuned into my life on Facebook, I'm already friends with, so. But y'all okay. can follow my blog site, though. It's the Polish Gym underscore. All right. And then we also have uh, a phone in co host, uh, Miss Kiki. Um, her information will be posted uh, in the link as well once this is uploaded. All right, so um, let's get into this. This is um, the I've Noticed podcast, is just based off of things that uh, me, what I've noticed, you know, throughout my single journey, my successfully single journey and um entrepreneurial hustle uh dating during this uh covid situation and just you know trying to get my shit together you know pretty much like we all are um all right so we have uh five questions we're gonna try to get to those five questions but if not then it'll be a follow-up um on the next one but uh we're gonna go straight into it okay so uh the first question that we have is what is dating like? What is your definition of dating? And um, are, if you if you're if you're currently doing that, are you dating with a purpose, or meaning like you wanted to lead somewhere? Uh, the end goal usually is always marriage and a family. Um, or are you the meme that's floating around? I don't know if y'all saw the meme, but where they say like us women, like we're just dating because we're hungry. Like a guy that we may not even be interested in. We don't like him. We're not attracted to him. His personality is no, but he like us. He got a little bit of, of money and he want to feed us, you know? Um, so we just go just to go, just, just to, uh, you know, fulfill time and fulfill our stomachs, you know? Um, so what is dating? Are you dating with a purpose? And if not, are you the mean? Are you the, you know, the guy or the girl that is, just going because you bored, they gonna pay, and you was hungry anyway. So fuck it. <laughs> you like to start. I think first and foremost, a lot of y'all women got the definition of dating. Okay, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now when you say <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> um, I, I know that. I already know that part coming, but I, I don't mind what listening. No, what? I just okay. No, I'm sorry. I know, I know, I this this wasn't not to even to be rude. I was just gonna say like, just say women. Don't say y'all women. Just say women. Right, right. Well, well, you know, we're in the south, so y'all is just everybody. That's just a a, a compound. Right, right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. If the shoe don't fit, <laughs> I think a lot of women got the definition of dating screwed up. Okay. And even if it's not screwed up, then. Why isn't it allowed the same way for men? What do you mean? <clears throat> I say that because 
women think dating is I can talk to Joe, Jack, Chris, and David, date them all at one time to see who's the best contender and then just pick one and go from there. Meanwhile, like, dating is putting somewhat of a label on something, in a sense. Because, like, when you say I'm dating that person, you don't even got to discuss anything beyond that to be real because if it's nothing it's nothing y'all know when you're cool and chilling or whatever the case may be but when you say all right we dating that's you saying all right i want to take time out with this person and see more than just the bs that we own type job i want to see like what's up with them the mental whoop de whoop spend time and you know really look into that situation but when you're doing that with five people that's the point of now where you like david because he good at changing oil Chris can get you something to eat. Doggone old buddy can actually got a listening ear. He don't mind shutting up and letting you run your mouth about who and who at work or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Right. You to the point where nobody's getting there really that all of you or that one-on-one -on -one time to study you. Now, it could be as simple and different for a man. Like I keep saying, okay, imagine if I came up to you, Ashley, you at the bar and I come up to you. How you doing? Mm -hmm. My name's Swamp. Whoop, 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 whoop. We exchange numbers. I go over two people and go to witness and say, hey, how you doing? My name's Swamp, such and such. You can front and fake or maybe say you're not now, but you're going to look at me like this nigga was just in my face. I do. Ask <laughs> I do. And then, but, you know, honestly, at that bar, I'm going to come up to you. I'm going to be like, here you go, baby. Get your number, was, babe. This, this, this is the paper that you wrote your number on, so I don't need that. Messed but up, I, I get what you're saying. Day, though. Like, that's messed up. A dude can't do that. Then, like, I can't say I'm still cool with one of my baby mamas or I'm cool with a friend from the past or I can't take them out to eat and then pull up on you and be like, hey, yeah, I'm single or whatever. But I took old girl out last night. That's going to stop everything that I'm, I'm, I'm still out there searching for because a woman wants your undivided attention. Truth be told, it takes that even when it comes to dating because that's the time in the trial period for you to really learn a person, man, before you get into that relationship jump, because that's a different ball game. If you take it seriously, I learned from trial and error, bumping my head, you know what I'm saying? I fuck up a lot. It was a point like, I wouldn't ask, you know what I'm saying? So like, you know the karma would come with it and all that, but like, no, that's not dating, talking to five people and just choosing one like, okay, like it's a tryout for junior varsity basketball or something. <laughs> no, I'm not getting your all. Then on top of me not getting your all, you know how women built these days. I got to protect my peace. That's how a lot of y'all is. Wait a minute. So, so I, you're, I, you're, I, saying, you're saying that we say we have to protect our peace? Or are you saying that that's the mind frame that that's you're lot, so That's the mind frame of a lot of women. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm going to tell you this. If I'm in a relationship with you, don't give me that. Because truth be told, like, if... It's where it's supposed to be. You are going to be my piece. If I can only rattle you to the point where you still got that that force feel around you where things is hectic, but you're not going to interrupt my peace in a sense. No, my peace is interrupted when things is going on with us because that's a it, it's an open barrier. Everything open. The mindset is like always like a game of breaking down levels with women these days. It is, but you but do you understand why though? Because I, the reason I, I want to pause you there. And I, cause I, I really want you to understand why that we have this guard, we got this force field, this invisible bullshit wall that we have. Do you realize that maybe like two, three minutes ago you said, "I want shit." So we're still fucked up from your ain't shit ways, you know. So you gotta get when you meet us, you gotta and you see that oh shit, this gonna be a little peak. This she we damaged. We still fucked up. Like just because you got your shit together now, we still fucked up from when you fucked us over. You know, so can you kind of like understand that a little bit and take time with us and help us heal? But it's, and it's your life. You don't have to do that. No, you can say, I ain't with that right now. A little bit, but I know what I'm not going to be able to do. I can't, right, come right. To, I can't come to you and say, listen, the last few women I've been with wasn't worth a doggone thing. They was only chasing money, clout mm -hmm. chasing, whoop, 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 whoop. You're going to stop me long before that process. Say, look, I'm not none of them. Absolutely. I'm not going to get treat you as such. Right. Neither am I going to be able to set up my own 
basic training in a sense to make sure <laughs> you qualify when it comes. I'm going to have to throw all that out. The I can't bring that against you. You're not going to allow that. But just because little Pookie and little Tay Tay would, you know what I'm saying, did whatever, I got to go through all of this before I even get any reaction or some of the things that I may look for in a woman from you. Right, right. That ain't cool. Right, can I ask a question? Yeah. Well, I have two questions, actually. But do you count dating as exclusive? Like, if you say you're dating someone, are y'all exclusive? That's a good co uh, question, Courtney. Bruh. Because you, because you keep saying that you can't date multiple people, which I'm correlating that because you said earlier that you can't be dating five different people and still get to know somebody one on one. Which I kind of disagree with because I don't see how like that's if you're a different person with each of, each of those people. So I don't see yeah. how you can't get to know multiple people. And also at the same time, women we're great multitaskers, right? So, and a lot so of keep so keep that in mind, right? And a lot of guys don't correlate dating as exclusive. And and I'm not we're not giving you excuses. We're giving you real nigga shit, like nah, bro, nah. Right? Uh, listen, like uh, listen though, like let, let me say this. So my thing is like when you said when you started with dating, like I feel like there's a difference when you say you're dating and when you're dating someone. Yeah. So I feel like when you're dating, you're Where saying that. What? Listen, when you're when you're just dating, I feel like when the, the act of dating. So like the act of dating is when you are getting to know somebody more so on a social level and getting to know more about that okay. person. So there's a difference in I'm dating and I'm dating someone. No, I I'm think, saying there's I'm saying I, there's I think what it is is at this point everything is like what we grew up on ain't ain't what it it, it is right now. So I think every individual, because uh, Courtney and Kiki know that I, I I wasn't real big on titles. Like, don't put that shit on. Like, the only title I want is boss. But anyway, you know, I don't care about titles, but, you know, I'm maturing now. You know, words mean things, pretty much. So I think with your definition of you just got to do it right, right. It's your book. It's your story. You got to write it. So if you know a lot of women um have a roster like you said tryouts which honestly it is to be it, it that's exactly what it is so I, I i'm comfortable with that I, i'm not gonna argue with you with that um but i think you just gotta say look um, i'm swamped this is what like if you're dating multiple men at the same time that's not for me but when yeah. you're ready to uh to to just focus on one man which is me then you can inbox me. You can, you can, I can book a schedule with you. You know, I, if I got time, I'll call you back, you know, but until then, that ain't for me, sweetheart, you know? Yeah. So I think that's how you should do it. Cause a lot of women now we are, myself included, we are multi-dating. It's a process yeah. of elimination. And honestly with me, I don't have to tell a man you, you didn't make the cut because they <laughs> lie so much. They, they ain't where you at right now. They ain't over it. They, they, at that mental space, they still full of shit. You know, I don't want to use the hashtag, hashtag men and shit, because that don't apply to all of them. Just 99.9% .9 of them, you know, but. Jeez, Christ, oh, we, we, we can go there. But you used to be that. So you are a reformed ain't shit nigga. You do realize that. You ain't, you ain't that no more, Courtney. Huh? Huh? Don't I ain't I can't talk about everybody else, but don't put that on no nine point nine nine percent of men, like because truth be told, <laughs> y'all don't y'all don't think y'all realize the power that y'all have. Y'all only utilize it when y'all want to and see fit. That's what I think. Because like mm -hmm. if y'all really knew what it take to like understand like understand a, a man in a sense, you mm -hmm. might actually get somewhere further to be real instead of the standard procedure or the whatever you see fit. Mm -hmm. now when you say we could get somewhere further you mean like our end goal like to be in that relationship with him just him to have that family that the fake fake ass it, white picket okay the stuff that you're looking for as far as like you know seeing if that's where you, you're gonna end it at okay but you got a lot of um, no limit soldiers out here these days y'all tough y'all thugs y'all are thugs but do you understand are, why oh, listen 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 I get it in a sense but like you would think by now a lot would get the picture because a lot of people are still in the same position. But you're okay with saying, I'm good, independent. No, that ain't the case. Something has to give and switch up. You tried it both ways. You gotta find some media in some way. Maybe the niggas ain't worth a squad and the female, like you know what I'm saying? Your mindset personally, but 
a lot of us are 25, 30, 30, whatever, and it still ain't click. I be looking at this Jasmine Sutherland girl. She was wasn't scared of lion tigers or bears. She bust the windows out of the car and now <laughs> but, down with a more subtle mind because that ain't been working. Well, I want okay. Well, uh, look at Young Blue where he got the um, popular song "You Still Mine." Like he knew he fucked up. She moved on with a man that want to lock her down, good to her, and she was gonna marry him. And this fuck nigga. Gonna show up at the wedding <laughs> and gonna take her. What, what kind think? of bullshit is that? What you mean though? Because, because now, so now that she done moved on and she happy now. Hey, listen, I'm gonna be real though. He wanna he be like, oh you know what? I'm, I'm good now. Let's let's I'm get be, let's get I'm that old be, thing I'm back. Be real though. I'm gonna be real though. She if she went and go go, she wouldn't win. Period, man. Well, you know what? I'm a realistic woman, and you're absolutely correct. Because if she was done with that and done with him and she was happy, then she would have had security escort him out, you know. Thanks, but that's dude. not where her heart was at. Her heart was with him. And that happens. Oh, you know, that happens. I don't know who y'all are talking about. <laughs> you get it, though. Who is he got the song with Drake? Still mine. Listen, I don't know though, that song either. You got to realize, though, guess what, though? Young Blue still like 23, 24 years old. Absolutely. And guess what? He's still trying to figure it out, man. A lot of a lot of people and are. We, I, we all are. We all so, are. Yeah, but like, it's more different and more sentimental when it comes to a woman. And like, to know like you're dating however many dudes you dating, dating, because I have to ask now. I ain't even know. Y'all put me on some new job. I need to ask a girl, are you dating or are you dating exclusively? And yeah. Are you dating Right. Are you dating? That is that like that's that really is true? Such a bull. Well, I mean, you don't even necessarily have to ask people that because I feel like when you're dating somebody, you're. I feel like when it comes to casual and exclusively dating somebody, you don't just say, "Okay, I'm um, go and say I'm dating this person, I'm dating that person." I feel like when you're what, seriously dating casual? somebody, it's not it's not five and six guys that you're talking to and all of that. When you're dating somebody, maybe you're talking to that one person and, and maybe it's one other person, maybe it's just, it's just two guys or something like that. But when you're just conversing with somebody, let's say like the example that you used from earlier, you gave, you walked in the club, gave Ashley your number, 30 minutes later, you walked down and you saw Courtney and you started talking to her. I'm not, Ashley shouldn't get upset with you because you're talking to Courtney because that doesn't mean, just because y'all exchange numbers and y'all are, are whatever, texting or whatever, that doesn't necessarily mean you're dating each other. I feel like you're only dating if you're going on a more serious level. And more nine times out of 10, if you're on that serious level, you're not talking to five and six and seven and all those amount of guys. You're only really talking to that one person or one other person. It's not like a whole five or six guys that you're talking to, like when people say that they're dating. Uh, this is how I look at it, though. Men do look at women as a treasure or like something very sentimental because like, if I know there's two, three, four people, other, I ain't gonna say niggas, four other men in the place, that's not gonna make me step up no type of pressure to be in no type of race or compete with nothing. It shouldn't. No just, one I'm just saying, that's, that's like my mindset at the same time because I know like that's gonna be the reflection, the same thing a woman gonna give you. They're not gonna compete. Let a woman find out there's another woman in the play and you're trying to figure out which one you trying to choose. <laughs> Nigga, I'm gonna make sure you choose the right one. Go pick her. <laughs> come to me, that's not something you have to think about. I'm not one you, you should have to think about. You know when it come to me. A dude can't do that. I feel like, but you have to be at a certain point in dating to care about that, though. What? Okay, well, let, how about this? Let's let's let's, let's, just, let's not say dating. Let's just say yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Hold, hold on for one second. Hold on one for one second. Okay. We had posted in a, in a comment um because we got yeah. some comments going on, but uh, a guy posted. My friend Jeremy, he posted. He was like, the first topic has revealed a bigger issue. We can't even agree on what dating is. Word. And I just want to say, it, these are just words, and I'm I honestly like the definition of these words are gonna be like that's why. I, I don't want really to get tied up and saying, okay, I'm dating or doing this or doing whatever. It is what it is. But, you know, these definitions do vary. Just like your perspective on what it is to, of courtship, dating. Like, it probably is going to be different from person to person. So, yeah, you know, we ain't going to well, come to no well, I, I have levels anyway. Like, I have, like, the association 
you know, that's where I think when you, I, hey, I'm just saying, <laughs> I have the association, like, because you don't have a title yet. Like, I don't know who you are. I'm still like, how many siblings do you have? Like, where you from? Where you born? Or you plan on moving? Like, that's the associate. That's just the talking, the, the getting to know one another phase or whatever. Um, and then if it progresses from there, I think that's when you go into the, the dating, you know. Um, and then, you know, you can go from there to relationship. Well, like, what do you want to be called? Do you want to be called Sean or Swamp? I'm confused. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think you say you choose. Okay, well, Sean, I don't want to call you Swamp. But Sean, <laughs> when you, okay, let's say you're talking to a woman or whatever. When do you... Like, how do you know you're dating her? Like, do you say, are we dating? Or do you like, are you on a few dates? And then you're say so you're dating. Cause that's maybe good. Like, yeah, that's, that's good. Where you're coming from. Because like, we're talking about levels. Like when you first start dating someone, you're still getting to know them. Like my feelings are all the way there. I still don't know you yet to know if I even, you know, I know that I might want to see where this goes. That's as far as I know, but I don't know if, you know, I actually like you like that. So I'm trying to figure out what stage are you at when you say you're dating? Yeah, take us take us through that. Like when you first meet somebody and you're interested in pursuing them or whatever the case may be, like what's your thought process as you're pursuing this person or going through whatever phase y'all are going through? Like what's your approach to that? Um if I see something I'm interested in, uh I'll probably shoot my little shot or whatever. When we uh, Oh, you're getting real sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't want to miss nothing now. Damn. <laughs> I know damn, like, I'm not a man of a lot, a lot of words, to be told. And it yeah. might sound um, I'm more of a, like, face-to-face -face person. Like, I cut up, like, with you, like, type jump. But as far as just sitting there, texting all, and, back, like, I'll be done, put the phone down or, like, doing what I do type jump. But um, it's just with me, like, I want that face-to-face that -face jump first. And then, like, if I can vibe with you and it comes naturally more than once. Now, when I look at it like this, if I hit, if I'm willing to out of my day, my shit hit. If I'm, if I'm willing to out of my day, be like, dang, I wonder if she ate. And, like, I'm <laughs> doing like that. We're both doing the shit back to each other. I holler at you, like, boy, we damn near dating, ain't it? Check your response. Like, all right, and I was like, okay. You know so when you date you somebody. Get to that point? I don't know. Like, a, like. Let's say, like, let's say, like, you got you guys are also texting as well as having that face to face interaction every now and then. How long do you think that takes for you to get to the point where you're like, are we dating? I, I to me, he giving me the, and you can correct me if I'm. You're giving me the vibes of like she's supposed to already know, instead of y'all actually. Like, I, cause I think you making it fall on us women and you make it see like, now you know if I'm fucking with you, I'm fucking with you. Like, God, yeah. you know. and I'm the type of one where I, you have to tell me. Yeah, you got to tell I'm us. Nothing. No, 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 listen. I did say the part where I said, I'm going to holler at you and be like, we damn near dating, ain't it? <laughs> I'm going to go off your response as I said the first time. Okay. We're going to go from there. I be, I'm, of course, I'm going to get my answer then by throwing it up like that. Okay. And be like, and you know what I'm saying, establish it from there or whatever. You would know, I just throw a little damn test out there every now and then, see where the water at. I really ain't one to pressurize or to force no type of label on nothing. I just like, I cool out with it and let it let it form naturally, like I was saying. Okay. So during, I got one last thing. So during this time, though, just because of the whole things we we're discussing. So during that time where you saw that person y'all connected, y'all met face to face and whatever, y'all vibing out or doing whatever, are you, is that the only person that you're communicating with as far as like female wise or is it somebody else like, okay. Are there any more? I saw Ashley, I saw yeah. Ashley, she had a good vibe. We met face to face, we chilled, it was natural. Like is Ashley gonna be the only person that you're looking at at that moment and communicating with? Or you say, oh, but I saw this other girl chick over here, you know, she got a nice little vibe too, you know, let me try to, let me see, you know, what she about, like, or is it you just focusing on that one person? Like, once I, once I, uh, come to you and holler at you about it, if I figure, like, we both gonna see what's up with each other, I'm lazy. I ain't got, like, when I do it the right, when I do it the right way, uh -huh. like, I, I ain't on my BS. When I do it the right way, I'm too lazy to, like, Janie, Ashley, this, that, and third, like, right, it, right. 
at the end of the day, like I'm, I'm lazy. So like, and you I, know, I believe that. I believe that. I so think most saying, guys. So saying when you I don't know. I don't know if I believe that because that's, that's what I'm saying. So you're I was gonna say it. just because it, it seemed like when you led into that, it was like only if I know she's serious, then cool. She, you know, I'll be the only one. But if if I don't get that vibe from her. Then you know I might turn you know and see what's up. Not that you're just automatically gonna go and try to pursue another woman, but at the same time it's just like, all right, well maybe she ain't on what I'm on right now. We just chill and we just vibing, and then you may end up like talking to somebody else. And I think one of the key things here is for both you know men and women to realize. I think like sometimes like we always say the same thing, but we're calling it something different. Right. You know, from Hello. a woman's perspective. Hello. Guess who? Guess who? Call it something else. Like, no, this is exclusive dating. <laughs> I mean, we're technical. Bro, aren't you glad that you're talking I'll, to us now? I'll, 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 I'll hate that, but it's it's that's really what it is. Like, that's what I wanted to kind of bring out too. It's just like we we expect one thing and we say like this is the thing, and men say, okay, this is the thing. And if you really just take off what the title we just called it or whatever the person else thinks. At the at the base of it, it's really the same thing. So I just I just want to point that out. Yeah, okay, I, so, agree. I agree. And and so the wrap this this first question up, which for Ooh, that people, was a long first question for, for new people <laughs> who are for new people who are watching and just tuning in. The question was, what is dating? Are you dating with a purpose, an end goal of family, partnership, whatever it may lead to, or are you just bored and hungry? He asked you out, she asked you out, and he's like, fuck it. You know, so um, <laughs> I think the wrap the wrap it up. Listen, 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 listen. That's that's wrong. If you're cool with just going out. Oh with lord! Now I thought we was off that question. Oh, you come right, with? <laughs> no, no. I mean, listen. Okay, right, well, basically, right. this this episode gonna be about this date. No, what, 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 no. what was your comeback? What was the comeback? Yeah, go, go ahead, go ahead, go so ahead. Go I, I think what he was about to say, and you can elaborate, which was, it's not right to waste somebody's time. You know you're not in, which I just got. I, if you're watching, you know I just got off the phone with you. But uh, it's not right to uh, waste somebody's time and also waste yours at the same time. Just by you know ain't nothing there. You know you're not interested, but it's a free meal. You know it's a free trip. You know, um, but you know you don't have to entertain that. Like you don't have to entertain that, and that's why I want people to understand too. Like. If, if somebody is on a, a whole different vibe that you're on or they they moving in a way that you don't agree with, like you don't have to stay around and, and, and be a part of that. Like if somebody is, you talking to somebody and you feel like they should be only talking to you, but they are, they talking to other people and saying, oh, if you don't do this, you don't do that. You don't have to stay and put up with that. You could just be like, oh no, that ain't what I'm on. That ain't for me. Uh, you know, cut that communication off right there and just move yeah. to the next person. Like you don't have to stick around or somebody says I expect for a guy to do this or I expect for the woman to do that that doesn't make it facts that just makes it that's what Whitney thinks that's what Ashley thinks that's what Courtney thinks if I don't agree with that I know how to dismiss myself or if that's something that I don't want I'm not going to pursue it you know so I think sometimes it's just like you gotta you gotta know what you want out of a guy or a woman or out of a relationship or out of whatever interaction it is going on because you don't just boom pop up in a relationship there's interactions that happen that get you to that point. So it's just like if you if you already know what you want and what you expect from the other person and what you can give to the other person, if they're not at that standard or they're not compatible with what you have going on, it's fine for you to step away from that. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think I think he was saying, I, yeah, of course, most definitely. But I think he was saying, like, I think he's like shocked that us women are multi-dating like we're, we're having multiple partners at the same time not saying you have you're sexually involved with them but it's just that he can't believe like you really talking to this this and this and i said you know right. but it's a process of <laughs> elimination like what people were saying in the comment to, section i just don't see how it's hard to comprehend that you can get to know different process people of elimination process of elimination i do don't you get must be reading some of the comments i have i was <laughs> People are saying process. Of, believe it or not, if you when you get time, women in the comment section currently right now are saying it's a process of elimination. So I think we should all be like, be like, why are women like this now? Like, and then, and then, but my yeah. my thing is my thing too, and I, I know we're trying to wrap up this first question, but my right, thing I, is, I, no, no, go ahead. Yeah, my thing is too, like you know, I understand where where Sean is coming from. I don't even know what to call y'all. Know to call you Sean Swamp. I'm gonna just say Swamp. <laughs> I get where you're coming from about like, you know, just 
you know, dating this person or, you know, talking to this person, talking to this one person. But my thing is, like, what do you do then? Like, if you don't expect people to get to know more than one person at a time, you feel like they should just, you feel like they should just focus on that person and just, you know, figure out what it is about this one person. And until that person gives them something that, you know, reveals something about them that you don't like or you can't vibe with, then that's when you should move on. I feel like uh, if you put so much focus on like this one person, like how can you know what's out there? If you always settle for the first guy that you come in contact with and the first guy that's like, okay, I want to pursue you, you may like them, then where you go from there? And then uh, the old listen. people, we grew up on the old people saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket anyway. Go uh, ahead, Swan. Look at it like this. If that's going to be the case, let it be an even playing field all the way around. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, I'm willing to bet all of y'all, like if Whitney, if you seen if you seen me on a date with Ashley mm-hmm. yesterday, whether you was interested in me or not, that would stop you from letting me take you on a date tonight and engaging in dating with me also. A nigga can't do that, date multiple girls at one time. A female ain't cool with that. We're not cool with it, but y'all talking to. <laughs> oh no, oh, no, nah, man. No, He's hold on now, cause 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 you I mean it's you're not, not that you're talking to some something. people. There's going to be th- a lot of things that you're not going to do that you would actually do towards learning towards in the process of dating somebody and getting to know somebody. There's things that you're not going to do for the fact that you know that he is talking to other women. You're going to hold that part back. A lot of it. It's going to be a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I can't argue with that. I mean, I don't think that for me, for me myself, I'm not going to get mad because I've been taught, I'll talk to a guy here and I already know that um, it's not exclusive. Like you're dating other people and I'm not going to be mad if, I mean, I feel like when you're dating other people, you don't just be like, oh yeah, Swamp, yeah, I got another date with Christopher tomorrow and you know, he's going to take me out. Like that just, that, it doesn't go that way. But I know if we're not exclusive, then you're open and free to talk to other people. So in my mind, if we're not exclusive, then I have no quarrels with you dating other people. But I feel like it doesn't get to that. Huh? Relationship, y'all show exclusive ain't a relationship. You say what? Exclusive dating, y'all show that ain't a relationship. Not necessarily. It's- <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so if if we already dating, <laughs> there's another level of dating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If you are exclusive dating, that just means you're not dating anyone. Listen, else. listen, 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 listen. That sounds like BS to me as a man because you just playing with me. First, I got to date you. Then I got to go through the exclusive dating part and hope we get to the... Rel- nah, y'all playing with okay, me. Okay, well, how about this? The fuck, fuck, it fuck it off. How about this? You just... When you meet a person, be like, you, on that first night at the bar, when you came up to me and be like, look, I'm Swamp, I'm Sean, but they call me Swamp. What's happening? You know, like I, I ain't with the extra shit. I don't do the this, 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 this. When I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you, and I will appreciate the same for you at that moment. Because I've had guys that gave me, I don't want to really call it an ultimatum, but they gave me a choice. They gave me a choice. And there were times where I went with that, where I didn't casually associate or talk to other guys or date other guys. And I just focused on that one person. But I will say that it's a whole lot easier. When that nigga fuck up, it's a whole lot easier to get over him and his bullshit when y'all already got somebody else lined up. I will say that. Not that that helps anything. Look, multitasking, that's going on. Bro, that's why they know who your replacement is before the relationship is over. Okay, because Swamp about to give you something else. So let's let's wrap up this um, first one. (laughs) Well, I just want to say though, Uh, can I thank for the exclusive... No. Go ahead, Kiki. Okay, we got, okay, I'm sorry, y'all. We got Kiki. Okay, go ahead, Kiki. Okay, so I'm listening to everything. I'm on my way from work, so listening to everything. It sounds like what it sounds like, and I can agree with a lot of stuff that the young man said. Um, but it sounds like a lot of people got the word dating and date and stuff mixed up. So you can set a date to go on a date, but are you dating? <laughs> Break it down, sister booty. <laughs> Girl, no. I, I hear I mean, she ain't broken down because Swamp over there, like, what in the world? All he heard okay, was, but we, we got to give her her time. Go ahead. Go ahead, Miss Kiki. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. So it, that's the thing. Like, you can set a date to go out somewhere, but are you dating? 
So it just sounds like a lot of people kind of got the word dating and getting to know each other a little mixed up. Because if I'm not mistaken, dating is what, like, what the older folks would say is a courtship, and that's you trying to see if you want to be here and if you guys can go further. And it, so my thing is, it's according to what he said, if I can remember it correctly, you guys, excuse me, if I can remember it correctly, he does have a point that females do have a problem with a guy uh, going on multiple, multiple dates with other females and then we expect the feet we expect the male to be okay that if we do it but also at the same time society labels us if we do something like that because they got the word dating and getting to know each other on a date mixed up so i kind of think that's where like all our problems and misunderstanding is because i could go on a date but that don't mean i'm dating you that, uh, that don't mean that it's, uh, it's more than that yeah, I agree. And I just feel like overall with a with in that situation, a female females aren't gonna get upset like if I feel like a female is gonna get upset if you're dating around. She she'll get upset is if she felt like y'all were on a deeper exclusive. level than yeah. just casually. So when you're exclusively dating, like to me exclusively dating, that's the relationship. So I, I agree with you right there. If I say I'm exclusively dating somebody, then that's the relationship. Like that's what I'm saying. But like, I just think like the only time I uh, well, I can't say anybody else i would only feel some type of way if i knew that we were connecting with each other on a deeper level like really getting close to exclusive and you tell me that you're mm -hmm. dating this person this person that person like i might feel some type of way about it but until we actually you know make it official then whatever. It's just that, it's just not till we feel we're getting close to exclusive <laughs> all Boy, right so, so basically we don't agree <laughs> we, we on this dating the first question we don't agree the way the the summary of it all is women date multiple men at the same time and we talk about it we 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 let a let a person know and he is saying he don't like that he don't respect that and women y'all need to tighten up y'all mm. y'all need to get it together i don't like like, like <laughs> man that man no go ahead go ahead this is what it's I, for I, teach us enlighten us i look at the junk like all right it is the man's job to find the woman. I get that. But if I'm looking for a, a new vehicle and I go to a car lot, I'm not going to look at something with five owners. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? It's too, look, when I go to the damn car lot, I'm looking for what I'm looking for. Like, and if the shit I'm looking for ain't, my bad, this shit got turned out. Y'all can still see me? Yeah, yeah. I can see you. My bad. If like when I go to the car lot, the person already five people over there looking at that car. I ain't about to go over there and look at that car, bro. I, I'm just being real. It's five people over there already. Whether somebody buy that car or not, like I'm not about. It's not going to catch my attention. Whether that that could be the love of my life, I never know. That car ain't for me. It's five people over there right now with that car. You don't Where, know about those five more, but you do you know. look at more than one car though? Like and yeah, you might not look at that one car, but then and you look even at though five that. people are looking at it, you don't know if they going they credit gonna pass. You don't know if the credit score is right. You don't know if they got the, the down payment. Like, and that's where with us women, where we do the process of elimination. Like, like you said earlier, you was like, this guy got the conversation. This guy got the finances. This guy ain't got no kids. This guy got the education. This, you know. But at the end of the day, if you really wanted that car, despite the fact that five people are looking at it. <laughs> Despite the fact that five people, this is where people, the way the old people be like, but he don't even know, he don't know who looked at that car because even when he get on the car lot, I mean, I know this is just an analogy or whatever. Five even if you get on the car lot, you don't see nobody looking at that car, but you could have seen ten people that looked at that car all day. And you know, test drove, and, it. and in. test drove, the and car. got up in there, and five. test drove. You, that's why you got to do your car facts. Your car five people, <laughs> five people, five people. I'm gonna keep it moving. <laughs> Now, I know men, men that are watching it in the comment section, I know y'all can't agree with that because y'all done ran through plenty of cars. <sighs> but again, I, th I just think overall, like, even though I know some people in the comments and I just think for Swamp too, like, it's just like, oh, you know, it's just so many levels of, of you know, dating or, or, or so that many levels of... That y'all get to put up there. We don't get to use them. I no, know. I wouldn't say that you don't get to use them, but yeah, I think I, I think the thing about it also too is 
not even just when we're talking about dating. I think one of the problems is too, men are not very vocal about what it is exactly that, that they want. Woman is going to tell you, okay, this is how I expect this to go, or this is how you know, this is my opinion on it, or this is how I think it should go, or this is you know what I think. It is. You know, a man, he'll just push it off and, you know, it ain't this, it ain't that. He won't say nothing about it. Just like, how are we supposed to know things if you not vocal about it? You know, it is, I think it's just gotten to a point with, with men that they are now more open about even wanting love. I feel like before it was all kind of like closed off, you know, as long as they can pr protect and provide, you know, even if they felt like, okay, I want more. I want to be loved on. I want to do this and I want to be that. Like, Men has, have just started to become vocal about that. Like we we don't know exactly what you want or what to give you until you say something I'm gonna or say make this it known. I wouldn't say just say something when you make it known. I'm going to say this as some advice and then we can go on to the, the second question. Um, Sean, uh, earlier you said you're not a man of many words, believe it or not. Um, you'll do the little text, whoop, whoop, and then that's what it. Maybe, possibly, going forward, um, Use that opportunity when you are getting to know a female. That's when the use the opportunity to use those words. Say it right in there because now I think from consensus as, as a group, you know that women are dating multiple men at the same time. So just say what it is. Like that's when you use okay, your okay. words. Two Ashley, they ready? Oh, no. They are. That's why I say we got to move on to the second. Yeah, I ain't accepting that. You know, and you don't have to. It's your life. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> 